Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. And today, you know, we got the live stream already, we went over that, we did the skill fusions, and now it is time for the actual, like, content preview. But there is a new and interesting tidbit of news, and that is... Characters added to certain recruits after 627. So this is the next general pool update. Now, the fun thing is it doesn't actually say who is being added to the general pool. Uh, but we know this will come after the end of the commander meta at the start of whatever meta comes after. Probably swimsuit meta uh, if we're to follow the plan. But, you know, we didn't follow the plan for this month and it was supposed to be brides coming in. But, you know, we didn't get that. So who knows? Maybe swimsuits, maybe not. But we will have a general pool update on 627 so we know that the meta will end on 627 for the commander force uh so it's affecting ticket recruits four star five stars seven days only the welcome back recruits the tempest premium oh tempest premium recruit is in here hmm okay well that kind of puts a damper on where my thought process was going. It's pretty much every single available summon banner that's not brand new stuff because those have, you know, specific pools of units that, that get added to the force and all that, and those are untouched. But what I was thinking is because currently, for the monthly pass members, we have this premium recruit that already has some EX characters in it. Uh, Found to Wisdom and the first half of World of Fantasy. So I thought that whenever the actual general pool update would come for everybody, they would just take these characters and smash them into all the other banners. And then that would kind of set the precedent where the people who have the monthly pass, they would update that banner, this premium pass first with new EX characters. And then a couple months later, they will add those characters into the general pool and it would kind of be, you know, that kind of process. But if... The news preview also says that the Tempest Premium Recruit is being updated. That means they're adding characters to this as well. So does this mean that we're going to skip the whole, like, move in one and a half metas into the general pool and we're going to slam, like, three or four EX metas into everything at once? I don't know. Because, again, it doesn't actually say who is being put in. So a lot of speculation can come out of this. Um, I'm sure they'll let us know once we get closer to the 627 date, but it is good because a lot of people were asking me, when is the next general pool update? And I said, well, normally it happens during the half anniversaries every six months. And obviously that didn't happen last month or the month beforehand. So now it is happening. Don't quite know who's being put in here. They are updating Tempest Premium Recruit, which leads me to believe that it's going to be more than just Fount of Wisdom and world of fantasy so i mean uh if we look at the dates and the release schedule of banners um so these this these units are already added into the premium they still need to add the other half of world of fantasy because that was technically part of the one and a half anniversary but if they're going to update it i could see them maybe adding in four metas worth of characters it might be a stretch, that might be a lot of units to add into the pool, but, you know, Fount of Wisdom, some of them are still good. World of Fantasy, most of them are not good now. Warrior's Mind still has a few good options, Guy, Violet, and then Goddess of Destiny is... <sighs> Shuna. Shuna's there, I guess. And then the next meta is Adventurer, and that's Konosuba, which is never coming back. So I think if they were to add these four metas into the general pool... I think that would be reasonable. Reasonable. Maybe not um, probable, but reasonable. So that's in there. Also something new uh, that we found out from the live stream that I don't think I actually talked about because I kind of skipped over it, is that we have a new flashback item, this Volume 3 CD, and it costs 240k flashback crystals, and you can exchange it in the Serial Code Bazaar for 10 octogram emblems. Now, if you lived in Japan, you could just go buy this single and then you would get a code to get 10 free emblems. But since they don't do that over, you know, outside of Japan, this is how we get this stuff. All these serial code items are things that you can, that Japanese players can buy IRL and get free codes for and enter them. And then they get all this and they don't have to grind flashback currency. 
but you know it's a JP exclusive thing. So ten autogram emblems here for the taking. If you have you know a quarter of a million flashback crystals, sure, whatever. I'll probably let it sit there. But we also have the actual content preview for the incoming meta. Holy Knight's brave record with Hinata and um, Renard and Glenda are coming in tomorrow night, 24 hours from now, as of recording this video. Looks like Hinata's going to have a 30% ticket, which is pretty standard. It'll be a 15% chance to be her and a 15% chance to be Renard. Uh, we have the actual banner itself. It says that there are some new, some Commander Force EX characters will be available again and some skill fusion characters. So if we take a look at who is on Commander EX that would be included in the banner, um, you're not going to be there. 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 And I heavily, heavily doubt that Diablo will be there. So that brings it down to Warrior's Mind Rimuru and New Year's Blessing Rimuru, which even New Year's Blessing Rimuru might be a stretch because he is relatively recent. But, you know, apart from that, we have more collab characters than we do actual, like, <laughs> real characters in here. Mirai, Ainz, Albedo, well, Kazuma, yeah, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. We have half. And you don't really fit on this meta. You don't fit on this meta. You definitely don't fit on this meta. Kazuma technically could, technically, but he's never coming back. Yom is a free-to-play, so uh, he's not built for this team anyways. So that just brings it down to Diablo and Rimuru. And he, Diablo is two months old, if that, month and a half. He's not going to be here. Uh, oh, they are adding K Swimsuit Shizu to the Commander Force, so she will probably also be in the pool. She's not a bad character. She's power crept, but she is a single alt swapper and she's got a weakness strike buff, which you can take advantage of, and it lasts for two turns. So it's not a horrible skill. Uh, apart from that, uh, the other characters who are getting skill fusions are Gazel and Harmonizer Rimuru. Now, Gazel being here is actually a pretty good shout because he is one of the big three with protection gauge turn one. And I always, you know, you want these characters at level 92, him, Dark Millum, and Earth Millum. So if you happen to pull some Gazels and you can get his full trade active, I would consider that a win. Uh, Harmonizer Rimuru, not so, not so much. Everyone just got him for free by logging in this past month. Uh, he is getting a skill fusion. I don't think he's all super duper great, but meh, whatever, he's there. So overall, I don't really see this banner having insane levels of value. I do think Renard is a very good generic stacking protector. Uh, Hinata is kind of funky with her new skill, but I think she's also fairly generic, and she's a support unit. Like, the DPS is coming in either next week or the week after. We have the raid damage dealer ranking event against Hinata. This will play kind of like how Jubilee normally does, except there will only be one normal stage and it'll give you a literal butt ton of tickets. So you don't need to farm and get, you know, max scores on six different stages. It'll just do one stage and you get like 30 tickets a run or something like that. And then you go into this event and you just do as much damage as possible with whatever team build that works because it should be type neutral. And then based on how much damage we do, it will accumulate and we will get, um, you know, worldwide ranking awards. The first batch is up to 4 billion damage and we always exceed that in like three days. So there will be more rewards after that. Uh, we have the event story for the Holy Knights. Cool. Uh, we get Glenda from, log or from yeah, logging in. Shion as the bingo. Shion's actually not a bad four star protector. So, I mean, that's good. And then we've got Glenda's beatdown battle, which uh, should be interesting. He has the 12-hit shield that Hinata is going to be able to break pretty easily, but other people who don't have Hinata are going to struggle a little bit. Definitely do some videos on that. We, thank God, have new Union bingo boards to get more Dragon Spheres. Uh, it's been pretty dry over the past two or three weeks on, on Union stuff, and... You know, they haven't added Guild Wars or anything else in here, so it's literally just farm up the levels. 
get the ingots from you know valor cup and jubilee and then you you go away for another month or so so until they add more stuff to the unions it's not really anything too exciting and then the monthly pass trial so this is free koban multi or koban singles sorry single summons that you can get everybody will get this from logging in you don't have to be subscribed this is just trying to get people it's to entice people to get the actual monthly pass and this is just a little teaser for you so everyone will get what amounts to seven singles on whatever new banner you want to put it towards whether it be uh, renard and hanada or the next two banners whatever you could make your pick and for people who already have the monthly pass this is just a little bit extra for you so that's cool and and that's about it um oh okay so also what this could be i wonder if i still have that pulled up let me make a pause real fast okay the other thing that could be the general pool update is when they add tier and awakened claimant because this says at the end of june and certainly 627 you would consider the end of june so maybe you know, they're not adding any of these EX metas in, and it'll just be Tyr and Clayman, which is kind of unfortunate, but also, you know, on one hand, it's not great because they're really gatekeeping EX characters from the general pool for some reason. You know, Gods of Destiny is not really that great anymore. Half of Warrior's Mind is not that great. Uh, most, if not all, of Wield or uh, World of Fantasy is not good at this point. Found of Wisdom actually has the most staying power, I think, out of all of them, <laughs> ironically enough. But this could also very much be the new tier in Clayman. We don't know if they're going to be EX characters or if they're going to be four stars. I heavily, heavily lean into the fact that they're going to be EX characters because they're going to kind of be like what EX Yom and Murin are as just tasty little tidbits of extra stuff that you can happen to pull in ticket multis that you can shoot for but no one is ever going to really bank on getting so that could also be a very likely scenario but that's the uh that's the content preview again this will come out in 24 hours 23 hours and change now and uh yeah i will see you all tomorrow night so that's it for me and take it easy and bye bye <laughs>